Your next photography session booking could be just around the corner, but only if you follow these key steps right now. I'm Sarah Petty, and in this video, I will share keys on how to book more photography sessions than you ever thought possible. No more waiting around, my friend. Grab a hot cup of tea and let's make things happen right now. <music> All right, photographer friend, let's talk about building a customer database. This is a crucial step in creating more opportunities to book photography sessions. Your customer database is like a treasure trove of potential clients waiting to be tapped into when times are slow or when you're looking to expand your business. The key here is to create a database that suits your needs. Now, when I started my photography business, I couldn't find the perfect software, plus I was on a really low budget, so I took matters into my own hands. I created a web-based database that allowed me to categorize my contacts on five different criteria. This way, I could target my marketing efforts and my communication specifically to different groups of people. So whether you want to use a database software or heck a Google spreadsheet, either one works. Seriously, you don't need to buy a bunch of fancy things to run a profitable photography business. So I recommend a simple Google spreadsheet and then you can access it from anywhere. Now, tip number one, whether it's clients, prospects, local business owners who share your target audience, businesses where you spend your money, charities you support, friends, family, your kids, friends, parents, or any other category you want to include in your database, be sure to tag each person that you add into your database into the appropriate category so you can easily search by that category. What this does is this enables you to tailor your marketing messages and your offerings to suit their unique interests and preferences. Tip number two, look for opportunities. When you scan your database, you can look for opportunities where people you already know and who know you need your photography. Number one, did someone have a new baby? Two, somebody get a new puppy or kitty cat? Three, someone in a new sport or activity that the parents are talking about all over Facebook? Four, are their kids home from college for summer break or, or Christmas break or whatever? Five, do they have a new home with tons of what? Blank wall space. These are needs that people you already know are having and they need artwork to solve a problem they maybe don't even know that they have, but we know. Tip number three, keep detailed notes on each contact, which will help you foster stronger relationships and provide a more personalized experience. I can't tell you how many times people come in and they say, oh my gosh, I haven't been in three years. How do you remember my kids' names? Well. We take detailed notes so we know their ages, what grade they are in school, where they go to school, what activities they have done so that when they come back in a couple of years, bam, we've got that connection immediately and the rapport bridge has just been connected. Here's the thing, by having a well-maintained customer database, you'll have a quick organized place to look for opportunities when you are slow and when you need to book sessions. Now let's talk about leveraging the art of a handwritten note. Everybody's looking for a fancy online marketing activity. And listen, in this digital age where emails and direct messages and texts and Instant messages are dominating our communication. When we take the time to write a personal handwritten note, it can make the world of difference to someone. It helps us build meaningful connections and stay top of mind with people who we want to be our clients. Imagine the joy your clients are going to feel when they receive a thoughtful handwritten note from you, especially when it's on a card with an image of your photography that just gives them goosebumps and makes them feel amazing. And red notes, they just add that special touch. It shows you genuinely care about them and you recognize them for who they are and what they're doing in your community. I encourage you to use note cards with your logo and branding on the back and just one simple, beautiful image on the front with whatever your, your niche is. If it's families, if it's babies, if it's high school seniors. And if you do several, I keep several versions of note cards so that if someone calls with an inquiry about a high school student, I send them a card with that image or I see their high schooler 
won an award. I send a note on an image with a high schooler on it. If you don't know where to get note cards, I use a professional lab called White House Custom Color, whcc.com. Go check them out. They're amazing. You'll have it in a couple days and they look beautiful. I love the five by seven or five by five folded card. Just remember five by five cards are a little more in postage, but still it stands out a little bit. And remember, it's just not about the words you write. It's the entire experience of reading a tangible heartfelt note. I challenge you to make it a habit to write handwritten notes regularly. I do it every single week. I have for 25 years. So set aside time each week to send notes to clients, to prospects, to those who have been featured in the news, or you run into them in a grocery store, or you're introduced to them from a friend of yours, just make it a habit and it becomes so easy. Building your client attraction system through these notes of joy, that's what we call them, will leave a lasting impression and it will keep your photography business and you on the top of their mind. Remember, it's the little things that make a big difference. So take the time to write those little notes of joy and watch how they contribute to your overall success in attracting and retaining clients. Now let's talk about collaborating with co-marketing partners. Here at my company, we call them Bobbies because my first partner, her name was Bobby. Listen, the power of collaboration can open up endless opportunities for you to book photography sessions with no marketing budget. What you do is you're gonna build strong partnerships with what we call co-marketing partners. They reach and already have customers who are your target audience. They have disposable income. They're paying money to another business. And when Bobby, your partner, endorses you to them, then they become a client of yours. Instead of you having to go out and turn a cold lead into someone who might be interested in what you do. We can do that too, but boy, if it comes from an introduction from a co-marketing partner, it is so much stronger. When I first started, there was a kid's clothing store a few doors down. It was my second studio, but um, it was in a little outdoor shopping area. And I met the owner and people were spending hundreds of dollars on little dresses that their kids were gonna outgrow in a year or two. And I went to her and said, hey, I see how you need signage and websites were really new when we were having this conversation. And I said, let me give you some images to put on your website. Why don't you reach out to some of your best clients and tell them, hey, you've hired me and you're working with me to create images for your store and your website. And you would like them to be a model and come in and get the clothing. And then they would walk down to my store and I would create artwork for them. And she would let them know, look, you can invest in this artwork from Sarah for your home and you don't have to pay the session fee. I'm already taking care of that for you. So she would go through our whole process of educating them on what we do and why we're different and that our prices are more. The first client she sent to me invested 4200 hundred bucks. Bam. Just like that. There was no marketing budget or anything. And so I would gift her things, but they cost me like this much money. And yeah, once in a while, someone would come down and, and say, oh, we just had family pictures taken at church and we don't need or want anything. I would photograph the minimum that I needed for the store owner and I would send them off feeling great and I might gift them something, but I didn't have to spend a bunch of money to attract them as clients. So it was just a little bit of my time. But the key to a successful co-marketing partnership. This is what I teach every day and I geek out about, but it starts by building a genuine relationship that benefits both people. I see a lot of photographers walking in and asking for a display and getting shut down and then telling themselves a bunch of stories about how they're not good enough. When in the beginning, they didn't take time to know the partner and understand their goals and figure out how they can support this other business. So when you find that right fit person and you build a relationship by working together, you can really leverage each other's network and create just a ripple effect of referrals and exciting new opportunities. And it costs you so little. Now let's talk about the importance of engaging your network and how it can lead to endless opportunities for booking photography sessions. Your network, people you already know. This includes friends, family, colleagues, acquaintances, maybe your spouse or partner's coworkers and their spouses and their sister-in-laws. Like if you start to look at it, you have a much, much bigger network than you even know. When I first started, I knew that my friends and family weren't really in my target audience 
probably wouldn't be clients of mine. So I didn't really share what I was doing with them. And then I ran into an older family member on my husband's side and she asked me how my job at the advertising agency was doing. And I said, oh my gosh, two years ago, I started a business as a photographer. And I think part of it is that I was really embarrassed to say I was a photographer because I had no background, I had no college degree in photography, I had no training. So probably looking back, I really wasn't sharing with people because I felt like a fraud. I don't know if you can relate to that, but when I was talking to her and she's all over town talking to everybody, I realized, oh my gosh, I'm not educating the people who love me and care about me and could spread the word. So I realized then that even if they're not my ideal client, they can be a great source of referral. So when she's at an event, someone's talking about photography, she could say, oh my gosh, you should meet my niece. She does blah, 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 which is so fun. And then she connects them with me and it can turn into things versus her not even knowing that I started a photography business. Shame on me. The big thing here is don't ever underestimate the power of word of mouth marketing. People trust recommendations from people they know. So it's so crucial to actively engage your network to keep them informed about what you do and how it's different from other photographers. You wanna share your work and your passion and your success stories with them. Make an effort to stay in touch with your network with phone calls and messages, play dates, coffee, lunch, meetups, whatever it is. And seriously, I get it. I had three kids under three and I sometimes just got in that groove of like, just go, go, go. But I want you to take a minute to breathe and realize that's the fun of life and growing a business. And it's showing Showing genuine interest in other people's lives and being a supportive friend, even if they're not going to ever be your client, when they're in a group of people and the topic of photography comes up, they will be more likely to recommend you. So I want you to remember and the takeaway from this is that your network is not just a passive audience or a friend group, but they're a potential marketing force. And the best part, they're free and they love you. They care about you. So of course they're going to talk about you. Listen, I want to do something different right now. Now that we understand how to create endless opportunities to book photography sessions, even when there's tons of competitors, I want to give you some action items. So what I want you to do is pause the video for a moment, grab a pen and paper, and I want you to write these action steps down. One, your first action is to start building your customer database today. So simply open a free Google spreadsheet and start your contact list. So you can go through your phone and just download everybody, put their first name, their last name, their phone contact, their email, their home physical address. And once you do that, then you're going to start categorizing them by all the categories I listed, friends, family, businesses you do business with, your dream business partners, and so on. Then go through your social media profiles and see who you can add. Then in your mind, go through your neighborhood. Who are your neighbors that you need to run into and have a conversation with about what you're doing? And remember, this is an ongoing process. This isn't something you just do for a day and then you check the box. It needs to be woven into the fabric of your daily life. So you want to continuously update and nurture your database providing valuable updates, special offers and personalized touches to keep your clients engaged. And it's easier to book more photography sessions. Your second step is to embrace the power of handwritten notes. I want you to invest in quality note cards that represent your brand. Again, I get mine from White House Custom Color. Their website is whcc.com. And start reaching out to everyone in your network, clients, prospects, friends, strangers, and do it in a more personal and meaningful way. By doing so, you will create a genuine connection and strengthen those relationships, which leads to more opportunities to book sessions. And little secret, you're going to start feeling worth more and more value. Valuable. And so you're doing it for other people, but you're also doing it for yourself. And your third action step is to start exploring potential co-marketing opportunities in your community. So you're going to identify businesses that align with your target audience and start to get to know them, shop at their business, support them on social media by tagging them and watching them and looking for what they need. Meet them at a business networking activity. Take the owner to coffee. Start a relationship by giving first. It's not about you, it's about them. And then together you can amplify your marketing efforts, reach new clients, 
and create a thriving network of support. And the last and most important step to prioritize engaging with your network is to make a list of people in your network that you can reach out to and create a plan for staying connected. Is it a text message a day to those people you've lost touch with or maybe every Monday or every Friday? I know I write my notes of joy every Friday, maybe once a month, maybe it's the first Monday of the month, you go and have coffee with someone you haven't seen lately. If you utilize both online and offline channels to really engage and nurture relationships, I want you to watch how it leads to endless opportunities for booking sessions. In my community, we have a saying, Good things happen when you leave home. So get out there and talk to people and you'd be amazed at what you can stir up. Seriously, if you're ready to create endless opportunities and book photography sessions for your business and you wanna be a part of a community of photographers who value family first, growing a business and encouraging one another, come and join our free Facebook group. I'll stick the link in the description below and we don't allow drama and bullies. If you've ever been in a Facebook group that you're like, ah, it's not my thing, come and check ours out because it's very, very different. And hey, thanks for watching and subscribing to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that right now so you can get more content to help you grow your photography business. And if you love today's video, click here to get more actionable steps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.